And we're back with some more RimWorld. Today, today is going to be the day we get all our prep work done for pirate extermination. And by prep work, I mean I want to really optimize production of armor and armor. We're going to need a lot of marine armor, but that's that's not the big deal. I've also got to finish off this kill box. We've got all of it repaired after that last assault. So it's all repaired up and nice and new and shiny. Though I do need to put in a little bit of a, a dining area and hospital behind it. A little mini area, sort of like this. This sort of thing, but over there. But in the meantime, we've got to worry about a maddened manhunter pack that's shown up. There is, uh, yes, 182 panthers. Unfortunately, they've spawned right on top of Kuro over here. I don't think they can survive this. Also, they've got a peg leg. Oh, yeah, I really should have queued up a second. But, mm, yeah, I think they were one of those drug addicts at the start. Well, yeah, I, I don't think I can save them. There's not really much I can do. They're that surrounded. Um, Sorry? I mean... Yep, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. They're on the edge of the map. Next thing you know, 182 panthers show up out of nowhere and blindside you. I mean, packs of panthers are incredibly lethal. They can just sneak up on you out of nowhere. They're nocturnal, I believe. Anyway, the closest open area is through here. So let's get our people ready. I'm going to send someone over here with legs and hopefully they just get knocked unconscious and we can zip someone out and rescue them. I'm not holding out much hope of that. They all have a scratch type weapon, so they, they're probably going to bleed out. That's kind of annoying. Though they're, they're pretty heavily armored. Still, yeah, no, they're still dead. Pity, pity. All right, let's uh, let's skip this forward a bit. Actually, you know what? Let's just see what happens here. I could probably try retreating them into a corner, but that would just delay the inevitable. So, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I thought it. Oh, and I want to bring the wildlife or the animals back inside. Oh God, snail, snail, what are you doing there? Oh, okay, you know what? I should uh, I should maybe make sure everyone gets to safety before I start fiddling around with this. Okay, snail should run now. After they've finished firing off a minigun blaze, it's going to attract an awful lot of attention. Run, you fool! How is Kuro doing? Please tell me you're... Eight hours. Eight hours. Okay, we're going to get someone down here. Someone with good legs. Grasshopper to the rescue. They've got an Arcotech arm, Arcotech leg, and a Bionic leg. We'll send them down there and get them ready. Snail... <sighs> Hopefully snail makes it. In the meantime, let's get everyone uh, towards the kill box and let's use defensive positions, shall we? Run, snail, run. No, that's not fast enough. Yeah, you're dead. Damn it. Oh. They're bunching up set off a of mine, but not enough to save snail. Snail's still going down. God damn it. Yeah, snails down. How much health have they got left? Seven hours. Dear Lord, this is more deadly than most of the other things they faced because it spawned just right on top of some people. All right, we're going to have to send in a second person to help rescue. Uh, yeah, but we still need to wait till these move off. How much time are we going to have? Mm. You know what? I think we'll pull back from this area, get everyone back here like we dealt with those uh, wargs from earlier. We'll let them stream in and slaughter them like, well, wargs, I suppose. I changed my mind in the positioning. I realized I've got all these gun turrets that I'm going to have to protect, otherwise I'm going to have to replace them all again. And I'm not willing to pay for that many components all over again. One thing I like is they're actually getting spit back out and they're having to single file into the kill box. I haven't been able to get that to work recently, but hmm, maybe it's because of the way it's set up now. I don't know, I'm going to have to do some more testing on that. Uh, let's check back here and see how our people are doing. We've got five hours left on one and we've got six hours left on the other. I think it's time we made a run for this. I don't know if they can do it, but... Oh, crud. What direction are they going to go? You know what? I don't care. What we can do is... We will just set this door to... Oh, come on. Yeah, we'll set this door to... Can't go through it. All the other doors all the way along here. Can't go through it. That way they should have only one option, and that's to go back through this door. Well, in theory, uh, yeah, you go rescue Kuro and one of you rescue Snail. Dear Lord. On the bright side, we are going to have so much meat for the fridge, which is great because I was definitely running out. <laughs> Where the hell did that many manhunting panthers come from? I have no... Oh, still got 130 left. Uh, how's everyone doing down here? Perfect. I think we might be able to rescue them. You should probably stay asleep. What's wrong with you? Oh, that one's actually not dead. They're just unconscious. Okay. Well, it seems to be working. They're going back correct direction. Over here. 
Yes, still the current annihilation of our new fridge supplies. That is just excellent. Uh, snail, snail's about to get rescued. Perfect. I also have a little trap set up here that I haven't got a chance to try out. It's an incendiary trap. Because of the way these, well, people bunch up. Last time when they were trying to drill through the wall, I noticed they bunched up really tight against the wall. So what I'm hoping is they'll bunch up really tight against this wall. And then when someone drills through this, the incendiary will pop and everyone caught in this blast radius will be set on fire. Which should hopefully be lots of them. Though I might want to move those IED traps a bit further away. They'll probably blast the wall open before that can happen. Anyway, I think we're going to get those two people back to our hospitals. Uh, once they're back in our hospital, which is over here, I should probably get two people to tend to them, shouldn't I? Uh, which means I should probably go looking for someone who's actually good at that sort of thing right about now. You know what? Grasshopper's perfect at medical. They can tend to both of them. Yeah, I think we'll skip this forward a bit. I don't really think these panthers pose us much threat anymore. Right, we've got our tend on. We should hopefully be able to get both of these saved. That one's got four hours. That's got, ah, seven. Perfect. I think we got this. Once one more tend is applied, yeah, I think we'll just switch him over to curl here. And then they should be able to make sure both of these get out of there with three hours. Ooh, that's still far too close for comfort. And how's the mini-map looking? Yes, we're still slaughtering panthers on the side. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, I think we're going to call that a good hold. I'm going to have to get more people on uh, hauling. I think we want to get all of those into the fridge as quickly as possible before they start to go off. 180 panthers in the fridge. That's... Yeah, we, we got enough meat to last us a while. Uh, what's the actual meat you get off one of these? Uh, I'm not even sure. I think the number system tells you. Uh, mass, meat amount, 122. Uh, oh, you get multipliers for missing parts and things. Let's find something that's full size, shall we? 129 meat if, it's a, if there's no missing body parts. You lose some for the body parts that get shut off, but uh, yeah, we definitely shut off a few body parts here and there on some of these, especially with the ludicrous amount of firepower we were throwing down range. I may have gone overboard with the amount of defenses we threw in place against that, but in my defense, Randy sometimes finds ways to just make anything work, and I was not taking any risks. Uh, with all of that going on, we've got a solar flare happening at the moment, which I never like because... Oh, Muffalo Revenge, seriously? Are you going... Is it all of them? Oh my god, it's all of them. Literally all of them have gone Manhunter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I've got people in the area, but yeah, animals have definitely taken a strong dislike to me recently. Uh, nails, you might want to run. Maze, yeah, you might be just dead again. Maze, run, run. Stay away from the other ones. <laughs> no, no, stop getting so close. Uh, do I really want to let Shan face tank that? You know what, Shan? It, you can face tank it. We'll have everyone else shoot from behind you. Oh, Barracuda, pull back. No, 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 Barracuda. You're not risking yourself for this. Never mind. We'll let the others tank. That's just... <sighs> no nails. You have a gun. Just pull back and shoot it in the face. <laughs> okay, not my smartest move, but hey, we've got even more meat for the fridge that I don't need. Though, in in my defense, we've we've got... A crap ton of potatoes lying around. I know that's not a scientific term, but there is so much potatoes I've been having, having an excess of that this actually helps us get rid of them. We should be able to crank out an enormous amount of meals, which we're going to give to our pirate-based assault force. Oh, once we finish our quest. I'm just still repairing the damage from the last mechanoid assault. Uh, we'll get that up and running, and uh, we'll go get our new res, mech ser res serum before we move on. My kitchen is finally working at maximum capacity again. We have everyone working on all of the... Well, pretty much all the grills are working almost flat out now. Just exactly what I was looking for. They should hopefully chew us through all that panther meat in no time at all. Anyway, uh, yes, what was it? Yet yeah, I need to get everyone healthy up, and I need to get them loaded into drop pods to go take care of that Resurrector mech serum. I might just throw one person or three people into pods, and then have the rest ready to go in case it's an ambush. Mm, let me double check this quest. Uh, before heading out on that quest, I'm going to queue up some construction over here. This will be our little new dining area. This will be our storage room where we're going to put all the drugs and things. Uh, which reminds me, I need to put in a little drug creation station here. Uh, yeah, we'll grab one of these and we'll build a copy of it over here somewhere. Just so we can uh, we can produce some of the psych IT we're going to need for our new storage area over here. Our new little addition to our kill box is complete. 
This is going to add to our survivability out here. I've also thrown in some statues about here. This was an idea from Kerr, and actually there was a couple more comments before this, but I forgot to mention them as well. The last uh, last recommendation was from Kerr, and it was when you put statues in an area, it gives uh, beauty to pawns. So when pawns are inside an area, let's uh, grab someone, say, like steroid here, and we check out their needs. Where is it? Pretty environment. Place looks nice, plus five. You can actually get that all the way up to 12, I believe, depending on how much beauty you place around the place. This is not the best because of the ground. We need to pave over it and put in a few more statues. But it's enough to give them a plus five. This place is paved over and we've put in plenty of statues, so we should be able to drive up the happiness of the pawns here. I kind of walled myself in a bit. Maybe I should have moved this all back about two tiles and I could have put in more statues, but eh, you live and you learn. We've also got plenty of EMP grenades, a couple of doomsdays. That's reserved for triple rocket launchers. I'm going to have to get a bunch of those. Then we've got some uh, drugs and molotovs for burning corpses, a whole bunch of stuff. And I've started throwing in packaged survival meals into dining halls. Right, we're just putting down some shelves, throwing some packaged survival meals, and I do it in every single dining hall area. I have at least one shelf and a bunch of packaged survival meals. That way, if anyone gets hungry and they're close to a dining hall, they can just run over and pick one up and the huskies will come along and top it up when needs be. I mean, it's not like we're running short on meat. We have 127 panther corpses left. Though I think we've... Have we eaten to all the potatoes? Yeah, we've gone through all the potatoes and we still have 127 panther corpses left. And nine muffalo corpses. And a few rhinos. Yes, we had a rhinoceros revenge, a rhinoceros revenge, a mare revenge, a stallion revenge. We've got a lot of animals that have hurt a bunch of our pawns recently. But now... One, two, three, four, five. These pods are all loaded up and ready to go. We're going to launch in on the quest. Which quest? The Resurrector Mech Serum that there's seven days left on. This one over here. That's the one we're going to go for, and we're bringing this entire crowd with us. So, let's see how this works out. Uh, drop in center? Yep, I'm sending eight. <laughs> this might be a horrible idea, but I'm sending my eight worst for now. I didn't want to send my best people because this might be a suicide mission. And if a few of them die, or they all die, that would be bad. But I can live with it. Okay. Map looks fine. What's the wildlife on this map like? You know, we might stop to kill things if we don't get killed ourselves. Let's see where everyone lands. Yep, yeah, what do you know? It's an ambush. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, it's a reasonably well... Oh, come on, they have a triple rocket launcher? Two triple lo rocket launchers. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Fight out in the open. Run for it. What's the best place to run for it? Probably this direction. Actually, no, this way. There's three people this way. If we run through there, we might be able to escape without having to engage the rest of them. We have enough firepower, we might just be able to mow those down. I could send on the people with the best weaponry to target those in the slowest. So minigunners, that kind of thing, would go that direction. The slower people would remain behind, and, or the faster people, the ones with the charge rifles, they would pick up the Resurrection Mechs here, because if, if we're going to take losses here, we're taking something with us. Hmm. Let me get this all queued up. After careful assessment, I've decided, yes, this is definitely the right plan. We've got a sh we, the ones over here, the pawns over here are the weakest. Well, we've got one auto shotgun, which I'm not going to like, but we've got two close combat people. And then even the closest ones over here are pretty weak sauce so with close combat, a, you know, submachine guns, that kind of thing. Uh, over here, yeah, they're, they're really far away. So this side of the map is the weakest and all of the really dangerous stuff, like the stuff that could really cause us problems, like the triple rocket launchers are far away, like machine guns, assault rifles, um, grenades, miles away, bolt action, sniper rifles. Yep. Yeah. This is the way we're going. I've queued everyone up. Everyone's got their things to do. Pick up the stuff and get moving. Now, yeah, what's in here? We've got a bionic eye and a leg. You know what? Let's uh, pick up the Resurrector Mech Serum, bionic eye, bionic leg, and then you're going to leg it that direction too. We are going to have to kill these people. Unfortunately, it's going to be a bit tricky. Yeah, no, we should be able to. We've got enough people. We should be able to mull through them quite quickly, though this flank is going to be uncomfortable. We do not want to get bogged down in this. Hey, Maze, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, get out of there. Hey, you. What's your range at? Fine. Get to there. And then start shooting. You, get behind them. And st also start shooting. Yeah, your shield is going to collapse in a second. Ooh. They're moving on on all sides. I do not like this. Maze, you've got panic legs. Your job is to just keep running. You don't stop. You have to get off the map because you've got the most valuable thing here. Uh, everyone else, 
Punch up right there. We'll do a few shots and then we'll get out of here. Okay. Run and gun and try and get by them. Oh god, run and gun would be a lovely mod, wouldn't it? Why are you so slow? You have two bionic legs. Oh, you lost a lung. And you're missing a shoulder. Oh, I might have given the most expensive stuff to the worst pawn to take it. Uh, you. What's the plan? We've got a terrible position here and we're soon going to get swamped by people with dangerous weapons we do not want to get involved with. I think we're just going to have to kill that one and then run. Uh, tell you what, we'll get off two volleys. You target that one. You and you target that one. This is uncomfortable. Uh, you to target that one. And you keep running. <laughs> That's about as good as it gets. Okay, now everyone's going to have to... Yeah, this went horribly wrong. Oh, yeah, perfect. Everyone on this side is down except for... Who the hell is that? Douchebag. Owl, keep going. Maze, yeah, you're doing what you're doing the Lord's work. Uh has the trip of a rocket launcher showed up? Yes, it has. Time for everyone to move. Just you know what? Everyone like it. <laughs> we'll have to stop one or two people here and there who get injured, but Oh. Yep, that's a triple. People are still running though. Uh Salamander, you know what? You're injured and you've got a minigun. Drop it. Ooh. With the minigun gone, hopefully you can run that little bit faster. Oh crap, is that Crocodile? No, 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 no. Rescue Crocodile. No reachable non-reserved non-prisoner beds in a safe zone. How do I... Oh god. Do you see those rockets in midair? Oh crap. Everyone else is still running. How do I get Crocodile out of here? I think I'm going to have to make a little stand over here just to help buy some time for people. Uh, yeah, so Al, you can go over there. Nails, get in there. Everyone, I'm going to get a lot of them and put them in cover behind these trees. Hopefully we can get just enough cover to slow down the people while we get the rest of our squad out. Or maybe not. Yep, another one just went down. Nails, uh, oh Christ. Yep, that's the problem with dealing with triple rocket launchers. Yeah, that's for medical. Nails, I want you to rescue them. Go for it. Damn it, Salamander's also gone down. Maze has also gone down. This is... bad. Hmm. Damn it. Pirates from the Tomahawk men have decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Well, yeah. That sounds about right. I've got three people down. I've got Resurrector Mixerum lying on the ground. This turned into an absolute, well, load of pants. Where are you going? You are melee, attack, melee attacking Tyler. Oh, crap. This is not looking good. <sighs> oh, your tribe people can't finish loading transport pods. Why not? Uh, yep. Believe it or not, I'm loading up more people to launch into this mess. I don't care. I am bringing more people into this fight if I have to. Um, really because I want the Resurrector Mech Serum. I could lose more people doing this, but that's a price I'm willing to... Something I'm willing to risk. Okay, that's that. You know what? We'll launch who we can. How many have we got in the pods? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh yeah, we got one, two, three, four. We've only got four people in. Kai. Okay, Kai, what are you doing? You are heading towards the pods. All right, fine. We'll hold out just that little bit longer, and what we'll do is we'll get Global to enter the item stash quest world again. Damn it. Stop zooming in and out all the time. Uh, where did he come in? Global's off the other side. That's actually perfect for us. Uh, you. 23 hours. Owl, yeah, you're dead, dude. You're surrounded on all sides and there's no way you're getting out. Tyler, you're in a lot of trouble too. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anyone out of here. These guys are all running off the map. They're kidnapping Salamander. They're... Oh. Nails, hold the line. You want to target the person with the grenades, maybe. Yep, and now maybe get behind cover? Is there any cover to be had? There's, there's literally no cover to be had around here, I don't think. 
Oh, God. Yep, that's bad. Fine, they've kidnapped some of my people. I'm going to have to pay hefty ransoms on all of these, but on the right side. Global, no. Global. Stay here, buddy. Oh my god, did you take off your coat? Well, this has turned into an absolute catastrophe, hasn't it? I have lost so many pawns in this. Eight, no, seven pawns. Seven pawns got lost in this, all for one Resurrector Mech Serum. <sighs> That's assuming we get the Resurrector Mech Serum. Right, we're going to see what they do once they've gotten the last of them. Yeah, they're going to go down after my other people. Whoa, Salamander got up. Beast, okay, but you're unarmed. Uh, you want to run off the map, buddy. Maybe we can save you. Okay, what's left? Well, they're taking my people away, which is not the worst thing in the world. You know, the people getting kidnapped sucks, but we can probably get them back. There'll be missions to get them back, and I'll, I'm willing to pay the price. Uh, Global, what do you do? You know what? Put that on. Just saying it will keep you alive a little bit longer. Now, uh, none of them seem to be coming down here to attack. Oh my god, so many kidnappings. I've never had so many people kidnapped before. Well, that's fine. Let's see. Kai, did, did you manage to drag your slow ass into the, the transport pods? Let's see. We got everyone. Yep. We got a lot of them. Let's launch the group over to here. Yeah. Uh, drop in at edge, zoom in and choose landing spot in item stash. Yep, you know what? I'm thinking... Where is any of you left? Yeah, over here is fine. Hopefully some of them will be there when we still get... when we come back in. Though I think most of them will have left the map, unfortunately. Yep, they stole another one. Salamander should have left the map. And finally, our reinforcements have arrived. Far, far, far too late to do anything. Oh, well. At least we get to kill one of their people. Fine. Let's uh, scoop up what's left on this map and get out of here. We've And wait for our inevitable ransom request. Right. So, that could have went an awful lot better. That was just... Uh, should I have dropped at the edge? Annihilated things as they come in? I'm not even sure anymore. That was just way too much to... From the center, it couldn't be dealt with. Well, let's make sure... Turn off the whole thing and... Get everything back to normal and wait until everyone returns. Oh, massive mood penalty hit. Minus 18. You know, that means we are going to burn one of these... Uh, where did I put them? Psychic Soothe Pulsers. We're going to activate one of those to help us get over this hump because otherwise it could be a little uncomfortable dealing with minus 18 for six days. We'll wait, though, until the others get back. I'm not sure if I activate that, if it will affect people who aren't in the area. So I'll wait till the others return, then I'll activate it. Unfortunately, we don't have time to wait for the squad to get back. I've also told the squad to pull up and hold up outside the colony. Namely because we have a raid from a mechanoid hive coming in. They're dropping right on top of you and they're attacking immediately. From what I've been able to determine, there seems to be some shadows showing up here, so I think that's where they're going to be landing. It's time to pull everyone back, get the animals inside, uh, I'll circle the wagons, and we're going to make our stand here. Let's... it doesn't look like it's that bad, and considering I've just had six pawns, yeah, six pawns kidnapped, hopefully Randy will be gentle. You know, he could be benevolent, you never know. All right, let's see what wonderful joys Randy has in store for us today. That's... Hey, animal, what are you doing? Oh, that's wild stray, that's fine. That looks like a tiny raid. Okay, I don't want to jinx myself. Uh, I probably have jinxed myself, but that... Five centipedes and three lancers? Yeah, it seems like Randy's going to take mercy on me after I've lost all of those people. That's, you know, fine by me. Uh, we'll get, you know, we might lose a few. Well, that dog's probably not going to make it, but we'll lose a few animals, but I think we should be able to get this all set up nicely for a, a nice welcoming committee for them. Here come our enemies now, and that's, yeah, insta-death. Oh, I forgot to replace those walls with plasteel. Uh, after this, I'll, I'll do some plasteel walls. I'm not even bothering with EMP grenades. I think we can take these out so fast it's not going to be an issue. No famous last words. One of them can get off a lucky headshot. I've even put all of our uh, melee people up front with their shields on. They should hopefully draw fire, assuming they don't immediately go for the, the steel mini turrets. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Randy's been really nice since he just kidnapped six of, his, six of our people. Which I'm not going to complain about. I'll fix this blast back up, and then we're going to have to start getting back to doing caravanning again. Well, once all our people return, we still have quite a lot of people out on the world map. 
Uh, they're going to be home in 0.7 days. Uh, I think the next step up is to patch up all our people. Several recent people are missing lungs and kidneys and stuff like that. And I don't want them to be. So we have a few prisoners that are voluntarily not voluntary. Let's just say they're donating their organs to, to a, a good cause, which is our people. Unfortunately, some of them have lost their organs during the prison break, so some of them might not survive. Hopefully it will be fine, though. We're, I'm not going to do any organ harvesting here because of the mood penalty it would give. Which reminds me, how much of a mood buff, buff did we get from uh, doing that strange feeling thing? 20 hours, that's all? Oh, it's going to be a rough few days. I think uh, we'll arrange the organ, the or organize the har organ harvesting after we get over that. We'll have to put the organ harvesting on hold because only a few hours after we've dealt with the mechanoid hive, Randy has sent us some more organs. Uh, we've got 16 humans over here. We've got another bunch over here and a third bunch over here. And all of them are armed with close combat weaponry. There's 61 of them. Yeah, I mean, okay, they are sappers from what I can see here. So there are a bunch of sappers that are going to burrow in, which will be an annoyance. But they're all close combat people. Yeah, I think we so long as we just bunch up and gang up on each each one one at a time, we should be able to shred them. Just absolutely shred them. We've got the firepower to do it. Also, we just activated that strange feeling thing, so hopefully no one will have any mental breaks anytime soon. Uh, we're just going to grab literally everyone and go murder one of them. I think we'll bunch up where? Probably down here is better because... Uh, yeah, we're going to bunch up down, in, down here just so that we have closer to this area. And actually, we'll bunch up down here. I'm not going to try dealing with two groups at once because that always has historically gone terribly for me. Yeah, these guys will not be back for 0.6 of a day, so we've got some time to deal with this before they they come back. Ooh. I think some of these are going to hit my traps. That should be entertaining. Some of them won't, but... Come on. Come on. Yep. Oh, there goes a few of them. Oh. <laughs> Go on, bunch up. Bunch up a bit. Bunch up, you know you... Oh, there goes one squad. They didn't even get a chance to attack, which means... Yeah, you know what? We're going to grab a lot of you and... Oh, we're going to grab a lot of you. And maybe go take care of one of these other sides. I think... Oh, Vincent. What took you so long? Where were you that it took you that long to get that direction? Um, We'll put everyone there. Yeah, hopefully Vincent's going to be... Yeah, maybe take the long way around. You know, I just... I know they're all close combat people, but... Maybe be a little bit smart. Okay, we'll set up a flank stand here. Oh, and pull back all our critters. I really wish there was one button to do that. Having to scroll through the lot of them is just annoying. Uh, everyone's setting up. Yeah, let's uh, let's open these doors and start setting up into everyone into a sort of a flanks formation, and we can start oh well, start a nice big murder spree from right about here. They're going to dig through that wall and then try and come across the open water, which should slow them down even more. And they're coming from quite a distance away. We should be able to get a nice little kill box going on down here. This squad are about to break through over here. I decided to help shoot the wall so they could speed that along. The other squad is up at our old kill box trying to dig into the side of it. We'll go deal with them in a minute once we've dealt with this minor issue. Dear Lord. Oh, I'm sorry, you've changed your mind now? That was That's a really good idea because, you know, a whole bunch of you just got murderi murderized. Uh, well, let's go over here and take care of this squad. They're going to be breaking in there shortly. Mm, we're probably going to have to fight them in an annoying location, but they've got they've got ranged weaponry. We have, or they've got close combat weaponry, and we've got a whole bunch of heavily armored, heavily armed close combat people that can tank for us. While we have a bunch of people with heavy weaponry in the background to go shooting. Okay, where are you going? Are you just going to dig into a bedroom, or are you going to go for the turrets? I can't even. Oh, you muppets. Whatever. Well, we can't really do it too well, but we're going to line people up this way. And, oh, see if that uh, maybe pull them back. We'll get our uh, we'll get our close combat people up front. You guys all get out of the way. Come on, everyone back. Uh, Tom Hardy, you go over there. And caught. Yeah, this is not going to go well for them, is it? Oh, I should be capturing prisoners. You know what? No, I'm not in the mood to be capturing prisoners. After the day I've had, I just want to do an awful lot of unmitigated annihilation. Oh, look. All of them are getting slaughtered. Yep, that, that felt like it went pretty well. <laughs> 
Since we're running out of time here and I'm going to have to put everyone back to work, I thought I'd have a little bit of fun. I've got our five close combat people and I've told them to run down five of the enemies. So left to right, we've got Gogo, -Go, Steroid, Chan, Shield and Sir White. And they're running after respectively Squid, Wasp, Gal Galdasana, Rierna and Tramusa. Though I may have accidentally clicked on a different one, I don't know. Whatever, we're going to let them go and see what happens. Maybe they catch up with them, maybe they don't. Some of our people are injured, one of theirs is. Eh, why not? Also, I still can't believe none of them survived. Not one organ bag was left alive. That's just... That's just unfair. Uh, we'll get everyone back on, uh, or get all our, our huskies back working. Those have been an absolute godsend in this game. Wow, we had no chance of catching them. They are... Oh, they stopped to take on a wall... Oh no, don't, don't do it guys, don't do it. Oh, here comes Sir White. Hey Sir White, you know what, just, uh, yeah, tell you what, just grab the closest one. No point getting fancy. Okay, you can take that one, you can take that one. <laughs> oh, but guys. <laughs> oh, here comes Shield. Oh yeah, what's the one that allows them to run everywhere? You know what? I don't think there is one. I've just queued them up to go murderize some stuff. Hey guys, just just beat them all down. Yep, yep, that, that just went perfectly well. How about that guy over there? That guy looks like he could use a good pounding down. Eh, hey, there's six human corpses, so none of them sur- Wow, did they beat off that guy's head? Yep, neck completely destroyed by a mace. Sir White handling his mace precisely, painfully, struck tr Trosoma in the neck, completely destroying his neck and removing his head. Good job, Sir White. Good job. I'd promote you, but there, we don't have anything that goes above that. Now, where was Chan? Chan just sort of gave up. Hey, right, Chan. I Nose shot off and right leg had a bit of a cut. Okay, I understand. You, you couldn't make it to the battle on time. That's fine. Uh, we'll let everyone back to work. Apologies for the lack of progress today, but yeah, that raid, that raid sucked. That that ambush was just way too big. I was not expecting something that nasty. On the bright side, we got the Resurrector Mech Serum, so we can bring someone back from the grave. Downside, we lost six pawns. Well, they're kidnapped, not lost. We should be able to... I don't know if we can get them all back, or if some of them will just return as... Like, I know Digtastic we got back from a, a prisoner quest. So I'm hoping we can get some of those pawns back. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed. We're, we're still not dead, and we've got uh, plenty of... Well, plenty of corpses to feed to our huskies for a while anyway. Eh, good luck. Mm -hmm.